Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you uh, an improved version of the glass effect. Um, you may have seen the video that I posted up a few weeks ago um, which was just showing you how to make uh, a glass effect uh, using colour overlays. Uh, using a colour overlay as a main feature at the end basically to get that to work. And that colour, that glass effect will uh, works um, uh, on images, on a texture backgrounds and also with um, a solid colour fill for a background. The uh, effect that I'm about to show you works best when you've got a um, when you've got a textured background um, to use. It doesn't really work so well uh, if you're just using a plain colour uh, background. So bear that in mind um, if you uh, want to put this into use. Uh, I'll include a link to where you can get this um, textured background uh, in the in the sidebar in case you want to use this one as well. Okay, so this is actually it's 700 by 400 pixels. Uh, first of all, you want to go to your text tool over here and click on that and make a text box, quite a large one. And you want the text uh, size to be about 300 pixels for this size. And I've selected uh, Franklin Gothic Heavy. Uh, it works pretty well with this effect. Uh, you can play around obviously afterwards because we're not going to do anything else to the text layer once we've uh, once we've applied the effect. So you can uh, obviously go back and select the text later and uh, choose a different font. So just type type. Oh, and I've forgotten to change it. It needs to be uh, in white. So let's set that to white there. Hit OK. Just going to move that down a bit. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to come over to your layer, uh, layer palette over here and right click and click blending options up the top there. And uh, then we're going to run through the series of effect, the series of effects even that uh, turn this into the glass effect. Uh, so uh, first we want to do a drop shadow, and the drop shadow needs to be set to multiply black, change the opacity to 94%, use global light, and we'll leave that on 66 and for now. Uh, leave that as 5, the second one down, leave as 0, and the third one change to 13, and that's it for that one. want to add an inner shadow as well, um, so we're going to set that to normal and to white. Uh, leave the angle the same, use global lighting, um, we're going to change distance to 8 pixels, the choke to 11 pixels, and the size to 4 pixels. And that's all we need to do on that one as well. Uh, yeah, we need to put an inner glow in. Uh, for this, because I'm going to actually put a um, a blue hue over the end of, uh, at the end of this, uh, I'm going to use a blue colour that I've already picked out, which I quite like, which is BEE0FF. Um, what else we need to do? That needs to be set to 75. You want to come down to here uh, on size under the elements and put in 27 pixels. Uh, tick anti-aliasing and make sure that's 50%. Go down to bevel and emboss and for this we're going to use the inner bevel smooth 100% uh, direction is up size needs to be set to 4 and soften to 2 pixels and we'll leave the top angle as that bottom one is 26 that's fine and here we need to tick anti-aliasing and change the gloss contour to this one here um, which is, if it comes up, it's a rolling slope descending uh, you can see it on that picture there and you can leave the rest of those settings on that page as are go down to satin and we need to set this to uh, it's already set to multiply, that's it, multiply and then I'm going to add another blue uh, colour here which is going to be 006 FCE uh, angle of 19 distance needs to be set to 34 and the size to 65 and then lastly click on stroke the size needs to be set to 2 pixels the position to outside change blend mode to soft light opacity to 53 and Fill type to set to gradient, um, it's just black and white, uh, black to white gradient, which is the standard one on there. Uh, linear, 90 degrees, 100%, uh, and you can leave it as that. And if you click OK, what you'll now see is you're left with this on the image. Um, 
The only thing you need to do to then change that is go over to here and click on fill and drag the side all the way down to zero and there you are there is your new glass effect. Now obviously because of the way this works the effect the, um, what you're doing by applying all those effects um, is basically uh, creating um, colors um, in the background or what's then perceived as the background of this font uh, of this text even um, so that when you remove the fill color the white color that we started with um, you're left with this uh, which is why this doesn't work necessarily that well on solid fill colors because uh, you lose some of the uh, the uh, glass effect uh, when you do that but obviously with this background it looks quite nice so finally with the background I'm just going to hit control U and I'm going to change the hue to uh, oh first of all sorry always forget this click colorize change the hue to 202 the saturation to 68 and the light to plus 10 hit OK and there you are uh, there's a uh, quite uh, quite good looking glass effect I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, I'll be doing a few more over the following week so uh, please subscribe and check back thank you